Hi, welcome back. In this video, we'll understand few connectors which we can use in our APIs, which are pretty useful while you are developing the APIs. So first is the scatter gather. And then we'll see the first successful. And then we'll see the until successful. So these three are the connectors we can use or you can say the component we can use in our APIs which are pretty useful. Okay, so we'll take one by one. So first we'll take the scatter scatter. So this is my project. I will create one new project. This is my endpoint studio. Here I will create uh, say component proj. So this will create one new project. Now what I need to do is I will drag one HTTP listener and uh, I will configure this listener as localhost 8081. Okay. Here I can give for now slash path. Okay. Now what I need to do is I will drag one inside core module. When you go down inside the flow control, we have scatter getter. I will drag this scatter getter. Okay. And then I will create few flows from here. So this is my let's say flow one, flow two, and last I will create one more flow that is flow three. So three flows I have created. Now what I can do is I can add the transform message. Let's say I want to calculate something. So I can drag this and in this transformation I will do some calculation. Let's say I'm calculating addition equals to 20 plus 10. Sorry, like this addition equals 20 plus 10 and then we'll Drag one more transform message. Here, let's say I will do the subtract 20 minus 10. And in next third flow, I will do some more transformation. Let's say multiply 20 multiply 10. And I will save this. Now these are the three flows. So scatter getter is basically used when you want to run a concurrent process. So I can add the flow reference over here. Three flow reference. And I can run all these three flows at the same time. Flow one. Flow two. And flow 3. Now I will save this. Now what we are doing over here is we are we use scatter getter and from here we have created three flows and simultaneously I am calling three flows at the same time. And at last I will add one transform message. Sorry not here. After this scatter getter. So here you can see in input we have three objects, object 1, object 2 and object 3, 0, 1, 2. Okay. So we'll get output from this flow reference, then we get the output from second flow reference and then we'll get the output from third flow reference. Okay. 
so after getting those output i need to take it in one output so in mulesoft we have one function as flatten and we'll use payload dot dot payload this will take the input and uh, it will flatten the input in, it will give me the combined form and my output i will take it as as json now i'll save this okay now what i will do is we'll try to run this and we'll see what we are getting as an output run as me lab save So after successful deployment, we will try to hit the API. Okay, so this is successfully deployed. Now I will try to run this application. So I will, I will hit this from over here. So I will remove this and I will hit 8081. Here we got all the response from each of the flows. So basically this is running in concurrent. I mean this is not running simultaneously. It is running in background each process. So there are a few properties we can set in scatter gather. One is the timeout. Here we can give the timeout in millisecond. Let's say I gave 60 milliseconds. So after 60 seconds basically if something is not working or some flow is taking time it will adaptively stop the flow target is basically my payload will be my target and the max concurrency is basically number of concurrent thread you want to run at a single point of time so if you are running three flows we can keep it as three or if you are not giving anything MuleSoft automatically takes according to the number of flows we are running Okay, so let's say if any one of the flow is getting failed. So I will just uh, remove the subtract and I will add division. And I will try to delete some number with zero. So this is basically an exception because divide by zero is infinity. So we should get one exception from this transform message. Okay, so this is successfully deployed on my local. Sorry, it's not yet deployed. It will deploy after. Okay, I think it's successful. Though. I will try to hit this. So we got the exception divide by zero. So this is the arithmetic expression exception. So e so if we are getting an exception in any of the flow will finally this will get exception from the whole scatter getter so this is important whenever we are trying to run different flows in a single using the scatter getter then all the flows should give the proper response if any of the flow is giving exception the whole scatter battle scatter gather will give you the exception okay now we'll see one more thing that is uh, in core we have something called we saw the choice we saw the scatter getter then we'll see now first successful and just drag first successful so here we have first successful what this will do is similar is similar to the scatter getter but scatter getter is running all the flows but first successful will run the first flow like this and if the first flow is successful this will not run the second or any other flow and if this first flow getting failed this will go to the second flow and run the second flow if the second flow is successful then it will not run the third flow similar for the third one also if all the flow references are getting failed then at last we'll get the exception so I can give the flow one flow two Flow 3 and I will drag one HTTP and here I will give the path as uh, first. I'll save this. 
just deploying on my local so this is successfully deployed now i will try to run this so here i will try first and i'll hit this So we got the response, but this is in hash map. We can convert the response into the JSON if you want. Okay, so if uh, let's say my second flow is the division. So if I will move this on top, sorry, flow three. This I will here I will let's say I will give flow two and here I will give flow one here I will give flow three okay now we'll say this now we'll see what will happen hit this this time we'll get the response from the second one because first one first flow is already we are getting exception okay for better i will just use a transformer message after this and here i will write json and i will just lay payload and i will save this now i will get the proper response okay okay we got the addition response so first flow was the division the first flow got failed so we got the this response from this flow okay so this is about the first successful now we have something called until successful also you can search this until successful so this is inside core this is until successful so until successful is nothing but this is kind of uh, the flow inside of flow and we can add anything inside this and we have number of retries and number of retries between millisecond between the retries so this if something got failed from this this will retry and hit the same flow and uh, after 60 seconds this will again retry after 60 seconds again retry so after basically one minute it will retry for five times until the until we got the success from this flow if we still we are not getting after fifth time then this will throw the exception okay so so assignment after this is you need to implement all this first successful scatter gather and the until successful you'll create three apis on that and then to implement all these components so that's it for this video see you in next video thank you